Hello, this is Brent McCall with Metro Home Theater. Today we're going to talk about our HDM SP3. Now the SP3 is our HDMI surge protection. It clamps up to 8,500 volts of lightning or high speed surge coming from any device. This is your power over your cable, doesn't matter, up to 8,500 volts. This is just a simple device to install. You plug it in line, either your source, your AVR, or your display, plug your cable into that, and you're ready to go. Now what this is not designed to do is capture over voltage on your cable boxes or your satellite receiver, but it will catch all of the high speed, high voltage spikes. Now the GA2 is developed to allow you to take an existing passive cable, in most cases up to 9 meters, and in our VLOC series up to 10 meters, and support a full 48 gigabits of bandwidth. This is everything that's available within the HDMI 2.1 spectrum of features. It's a simple product to use, it's easy to install, it goes at the display side, and it does have some unique adjustability features so that once you install it, you can match it both to your panel or your projector and to your cables. This means if you've got a slightly weaker cable, we can adjust the input sensitivity. If you have a panel or projector that has a very robust equalizer section, we can also adjust our output gain to match that display. So with the GA2, you're ready to work at 48 gigabits as soon as it's available in your sources. Now the HDM GA1 is already designed to support the entry level to HDMI 2.1 by being four channels at six gigabits per channel. You can add this to an existing passive cable up to 15 meters in length with most brands and 20 meters with Metro Home Theater VLOX cables. With the HDM GA1, you can run it out to your panel or projector and get everything that's available within the HDMI 2.0 domain and take you into the beginning stages of HDMI 2.1. The HDM-GA1 is available now and is an easy install on your system. Just put it at your display. Now the GA2 is developed to allow you to take an existing passive cable, in most cases up to 9 meters, and in our VLOC series up to 10 meters, and support a full 48 gigabits of bandwidth. This is everything that's available within the HDMI 2.1 spectrum of features. It's a simple product to use, it's easy to install, it goes at the display side, and it does have some unique adjustability features so that once you install it, you can match it both to your panel or your projector and to your cables. This means if you've got a slightly weaker cable, we can adjust the input sensitivity. If you have a panel or projector that has a very robust equalizer section, we can also adjust our output gain to match that display. So with the GA2, you're ready to work at 48 gigabits as soon as it's available in your sources. Now the JR3 is our latest in EDID repair tools. This builds on our long history with the DAD, the HDM Junior, and the Junior Plus, and fixes 95% of the problems that you will have out in the field, which is EDID failures. This is who are you, what are you, what's your resolution, what bit rate do you want 4K, and last but not least, the secret HDCP handshake. Now these failures occur because of capacitive loading on the data bus. The JR3 fixes that. It's a very simple to install product with a male and female terminal, plugs right into the back of your source nine times out of 10, occasionally into the display, you plug your cable into that and you're done. It just fixes the problem. Now the EDID B3 is specifically designed for video surveillance products when you want to connect them to multiple displays. Anytime you go past one display on an NVR DVR, you're subject to all sorts of weird video stuff happening and the EDID B solves that. It is a male female configuration plugged right into the back of your security device, plug your cable into that and you're ready to go, no problems. Now the AIO2 builds on our original AIO. It gives you a phenomenally small form factor, easy to install, and it fixes your EDID problems, the problems with some media servers that don't always work well with displays and AVRs. It also supports power and voltage down the TMDS feeds in case it's a little weak supporting the output of the source. It boosts up five volt and hot plug voltage and current to make sure they're solid, but most importantly, it gives you the ability to do a hot plug interrupt. Now why this is important, on a lot of your devices that support 4K and HDR, going from 1080 up is really simple. Sometimes going down doesn't work. 
you wind up with mode out of range, black screen, weird picture shifts, or no picture at all. With the AIO2, you engage a magic button that your programmer puts in there to interrupt your hot plug through the AIO2, and it fixes those problems. The AIO2 is available today, and it's a wonderful solution to have in your toolbox. Don't forget, check it out on www.metrohometheater.com. Look at us on Facebook. Don't forget our weekly broadcast, and we're also on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.